So I'm excited because the Apple Watch 6 is finally here. And while it doesn't bring any groundbreaking hardware changes or design changes, there's a lot of software uh, updates and upgrades to the uh, Watch OS that are, that are quite cool and the blood oxygen monitoring which has been included in this model. This uh, arrived today. Uh, I, I missed the delivery on Friday. I cried all weekend because I couldn't play with my new toy. But here it is. As I unboxed it, I realized actually I've not watched an Apple Watch unboxing. So I'll probably do this video in two parts this week. And I will start just by very quickly showing you just the attention to detail that Apple give to the package. Uh, and then I'm gonna use the watch for a few days so that I can report back really on exactly how uh, it performs in the real world. Immediately it looks quite attractive when you open it just because of that nice embossing uh, that they've got on the top there uh, with the Apple Watch. And of course, at the price that you're paying for this bad boy, you want it to be pretty decent, right? Uh, nice little features on the back here where you kind of flip these circular tabs off. Again, it's got nothing to do with the watch, but as I say, it's just these little attention to detail things. You flip it open and inside, now I bought the product red one because the other cool thing that Apple were doing was they were donating 100% of proceeds to COVID relief in, uh, I believe, Africa. So I thought, hey, if I buy before the end of September, I get to do a good thing, and uh, selfishly, I actually wanted the red one. I also got the, uh, the red um, sport band. You start opening it up, you've got the instructions on the inside, and then when you open up fully, of course, you get the shorter strap, which is your small medium, and then you've got your medium large strap which is really the one that I'm going to use. You've got the watch itself in the end here. And let me show you that because, I mean, that's just tastefully done as well. It has a pressed paper sort of shell around it to keep it protected, which I just think, again, it's the little things. And this is why Apple does so well and dominates so well in the markets um, that they work in. You flip that up and then you've got obviously the charger uh, and the cable. And that's what it looks at when it comes out. Smooth and red with all of those sensors at the back there for all the good stuff. Right, I'm gonna put it on, put the strap on, and then we can talk about this in more detail after I've worn it for a little while. And we're back and we've had a really good demo with the watch and have to tell you that it is terrible. So what am I supposed to do with the rest of the eight minutes? So a little bit of backstory, I've tried lots of smart watches. I've tried the AliExpress Cheapo, the Samsung Gear Sport, which is a great watch running Tizen, the Huawei Watch Sport 2 with LTE running Wear OS, and typically I've always been a bit of a traditional watch guy. Now I went for the red, as I mentioned earlier, not only because uh, it had the feeling of giving back, but also just because I love the color. New major features that have come out with the Apple Watch 6 really include the blood oxygen level monitoring. And if I'm honest, it's great. You can measure your blood OX levels, but I'm entirely sure what to do with the data after that. It does give you the results, but it might be helpful if perhaps they gave you some suggestions as to what that means. Features that are important to me at a glance, Apple Pay. The ability to leave the house without my wallet, without my phone, and to be able to use the watch to pay for things means already I'm carrying less weight. Awesome. Music. Plenty of storage room on this thing to download offline music, so if you're looking for a watch for running where you just want to use Bluetooth earbuds and have offline music for running, this is great, or online music with Apple streaming as well. You can also install the Spotify app on this if you want to use that. Continuing with the phone free theme, you have messaging, and if you've bought the cellular option like this one, you've also got your phone calls. And I have to tell you, the quality of the audio, even out of the speaker of this for phone calls, is super impressive. Very clear, very rich, and the microphone pickup back to the other person is also clear and rich. You're always gonna struggle with ambient noise, so obviously you don't wanna be standing in the middle of a grocery store shouting at your watch. You're really gonna to wanna to pair with some Bluetooth ear pods uh, or earbuds for that. Um, but with these two, you're cooking with gas, which is a good thing. 
Weather. Every time I talk about weather being interesting, I feel like I must have turned 60. But it is actually interesting being able to check the weather and know what's ahead of you for the day. Today it was incredibly windy here, 45 uh, kilometer an hour winds felt like a lot higher than that. Interesting, the watch was telling me that. Is that a uh, defining feature? Probably not, but it certainly is a nice to have. Fitness. Fitness is all in here, dial it up. Obviously Apple are really pushing this as a fitness watch and there's just those little attention to detail things like today when I went for a walk during lunchtime and I walked around the bays and about halfway around Apple said, I think you're going for a walk. Do you want to activate a walk uh, fitness activity? So I said yes and then it retroactively tied the beginning of that walk into that and then concluded it as well. So it's nice to know that say if you go for a run, forget to start your watch, you can start that later. I know a lot of other smartwatches do that, I know Garmin does that as well as others, but you know, it's when you stack all of these features into one watch rather than lots of watches having bits of those features that you really start to win with the Apple Watch 6. Maps. Again, it's already been around a wear, but a little bit of a vibration to tell you when to turn, especially the cycling features with this watch uh, is really nice. And I have always missed with the Wear OS, the ability um, to effectively just say navigate somewhere when I'm in a foreign city or where I'm not sure where I am, and then to have an actual map to follow on my wrist to find out where I need to go. Brilliant. Sleep tracking, it's good. I've slept with other sleep trackers that doesn't sound right does it i've spent time with others the sleep tracking data uh, at first glance isn't as thorough as i would like i'd like to break out um each evening into a little bit more detail but in terms of was i sleeping was i awake how long did i sleep for it's great and one of the main things i love about this watch is the comfort level it's so light compared to some of the other watches you can buy on the market it's just very, very light on your wrist and so therefore very easy to sleep with. And the soft curved edges are also really quite nice. I should give this a PG rating, shouldn't I? The setup was incredibly easy if you have an iPhone. It basically does everything in sync with the uh, Apple Watch. You can set it up exclusively, but it's much easier with an iPhone so that it just picks up all of that data, transfers it across automatically. So I would highly recommend using it with your iPhone. Once it's set up, things like AirPods just become available to it. Flip it open, stick in your AirPods, select that in the menu options. So is the Apple Watch 6 worth the upgrade? Well, from the 5, possibly not. The 5 already released the always-on screen display, even though the Apple 6 has that three times brighter. You know, if you're gonna look at the watch, you're gonna look at the watch, the screen's gonna come to life. So I would say if you already have the 5, it's not a huge deal to upgrade to the 6. But for me, entering at the 6 and having waited through 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, because I really wanted it to be really ready for prime time in terms of me operating independently just with a watch without a phone, um, I really think this watch has arrived. And it's still the little things like being able to just lift my wrist and speak a command without even having to say, hey Siri, is fantastic. I can say, message John, tell him I'll be late for lunch, set a calendar reminder, for lunch with the queen. Call Elon about the car. These little things make it much more a part of my life without it being intrusive or difficult to work with. The processor speed is at a point now where it can handle all of those complications, all of those voice commands, phone calls, messaging uh, with ease. So in my opinion, it gets, I don't know if it's pot, I've never given a 10 out of 10, I don't think. So I'll, I'll, I'll give it an almost 10 out of 10 because I don't think anyone that buys this would be disappointed with it uh, for any reason whatsoever. If this was helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. There's never been a better time to do it. See what I did there? See what I did there? Brilliant. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Stay safe out there. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.